uh, uh, looking reasonably like a, uh, a radial um, recreation. So. Yeah. And for anyone who actually wants to see that hour-long uh, television episode, it's been available commercially. It's been released by CBS. Also, I believe there's a couple vendors in there who may have it on DVD. Fred Burney, I believe, brings it almost every year to conventions. It's called The Night America Tremble. So that shouldn't be too difficult to find in the vendor room, if not on Amazon.com or whatever your local video store. I want to jump ahead now. Uh, of course, that was in 1957. Then in 1964, a station out in San Francisco created another version of uh, the Orson Welles <coughs> based on the Orson Welles story. Uh, it was a radio station, KPEN in San Francisco. But they just generally localized it. Um, then uh, in uh, 1965, they redid it again. And of course, they updated everything. And so the music, instead of being uh, Ramon Raquel, they were playing like Simon and Garfunkel and things like that, music of the period. Uh, in 1967, the BBC did their second version. Their first version was back in the 50s. And it was a, uh, it was done in, set in Victorian times, very much like the novel itself. Uh, in 67, they updated it to where there were jets and, and, and things like that. Um, I do have a little short piece of that. Which I Part series. I'm going to just start with the beginning of part three here. Basically, what, what happened is they, they, they put it in the format at the time, 
So I do have some clips. Uh, it, technically, it's not really available, but there are three clips that I have from that 68 broadcast. There is in complete total a, a 71 version of it that they redid later, uh, which is very similar, but it didn't have the panic that ensued afterwards. Um, but basically, as you'll hear, is if you were familiar with that period of time with the DJs and the type of music, and some of it's a little bit cut as the way they, this clip that I had, but you'll hear some Beatles music and things like that. Uh, but it starts out first with just based simply a, a bulletin that took place <clears throat> when the news was on. And finally, and finally, this story from the Mount Palmer Observatory in California. For the past two nights, astronomers have been closely watching a series of huge explosions that have been taking place on the surface of the planet Mars. The observatory director, Dr. Benjamin Spencer, says that although they appear to have as much energy as hydrogen bomb blasts, they are undoubtedly of natural origin. Dr. Spencer described the explosions as looking like, quote, tremendous jets of blue flame shooting out into space, end of quote. He said that although scientists are concerned about the large amounts of gas and foreign material that the explosions are sending into space, they are not likely to have any effect on the Earth. Mars is currently over 40 million miles away. The Buffalo weather, clear and chilly tonight, low in the mid-30s, down to the frost level in some rural areas. Mostly sunny and warmer tomorrow, high 60 to 65. Fair and not as cool tomorrow night, low in the 40s. The outlook for Saturday, increasing clouds and warmer. Present Buffalo temperature, now 34. KB Total News has been brought to you by the Peace Corps. Join the Peace Corps and help build something like Latin America, Asia, and Africa. This is Joan Alley reporting. Here, KB Total News, on the hour and half hour, 24 hours a day. Welcome back to music on the Saturday Beach Radio Show on Halloween night at the Lone Five. You hear that story to jump down these newscasts about the explosions on Mars? It said they look like giant blue flames. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be wild if this was a big publicity stunt for the gas company? <laughs> series of fires, several lives have been lost. KB Total News Director Don Lancer on the way to the scene. Repeating a large meteor is reported to have smashed into the ground on Grand Island, killing several people and touching off a series of fires. This has been a KB Total News bulletin. Then later on, um, the reporters actually are on the scene and they're starting the broadcast. Now, what they used is they, they originally wrote the script. They were going to try to do it in a studio type of setup and so on. But they found that the reporters, reporters apparently are best at just ad-libbing and, and telling the news, you know, as they report it and that type of thing. So he ended up throwing the script out and he just said, okay, here's an outline. Here's how we're going to approach things and so on. Just report, you know, and, and ad-lib as you go along. So the next part is they're actually on the island, and uh, Don Lancer has arrived on the island, and uh, he and uh, I think another reporter. Thank <laughs> you. 